Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, if you would hit that like and subscribe. We are back here with uh, what's kind of going on in the shop. And yeah, as you can see, we got quite a lineup. So I wanted to go over my Outlander. The 1000 XT is coming along. I got the all the XMR parts which are here, here's that boot, the connector, the plastic part that goes around, and here's the two going up. So here's your brackets, drop brackets, and I just kind of zip tied these wires up. And here's the intake, and it's coming up right up in here. And I have some pipe I ordered on eBay, two inch flex pipe that's insulated. And I'm hoping that's going to be my answer to how I'm going to get through this. Like all through there to the other side. So hopefully that will be in a couple days. But things have been moving quite a, quite quickly. Going good. Clutches are cleaned up. I put a new Gates belt on her. Uh, the exhaust is wrapped. I'm going to fix, you know, go around that. And I need, I got a leak here. I need to fix. What else we got? Oh, check them out. Ha! Huh? I got my hand guards. I couldn't even wait to put them on after it was already, you know, back running. So I went ahead and threw them on there. They fit great. Look good. Uh, I think it's really going to add to the, you know, y'all got to say, I mean, they're badass. Anyway, so what else we got? I grease what I could grease. Uh, changed all the fluids front rear diff uh, rear diff actually was new. I had just put new fluid in that I greased up my I think those are garage. Yeah garage products bushings as well as I could If y'all have garage products bushings, you know, it's very difficult to even Grease them at all. They're so tight um, But yeah, everything's coming along good. So Yeah, oh, we also checked the uh, valves we took the valve covers off and cleaned the gasket and all and checked the valves while we were in there. Everything, we had little adjustments to make. I'd never done that. Put brand new plugs in it. Uh, I have the plate here. While I have everything apart, I'll kind of show you what I've got on here. Plate that stiffens up the shift or doesn't let it break. I still have the plastic style, the OE style on the XMR uh hopefully this bolt back here is not gonna come loose that would be really nice uh i fixed the i had a little bit of a wobble in my wheel on my bearing and uh yeah i had to fix that with a big washer uh on the way is new calipers my calipers are really loose and very like my brake pads wear a lot uh, everybody who owns one of these i'm sure goes through brake pads like crazy i have the uh rip rip saw or rip tied or rip, i think it's rip side race driven uh rotors and pads the heavy duty race driven pads but they're getting chewed up and they were fairly new so yeah she's looking good i can't wait me and clay have been talking about it i think we're actually going to build some foot plate uh some new foot wells for it instead of buying any and that way it'll be able to run 32s so i told him if i could throw some 32s on here i might enter a bounty hole something like that with it that'd be nice but yeah it's coming along good Next time you see it, it uh, should probably be all back together. I even painted the racks, redid those. It'll be all back together probably and snorkeled up next time I'll do a video on it. Uh, I got something coming for the Brute. <clears throat> there is news on that. Got the Hondas. These are my old bosses. Doing them up for them. I got to real quick show you all this golf cart we did real quick. So this guy from a hunting lease, he uh, 
uses this out in Venice and I had to put my touch on it. He wanted some racks and he wanted winch and all that and things to be fixed up. So we fixed the frame issues where it was cracked and rusted, uh, painted all the racks, installed a winch. That's a 2000 Warren we pulled off of an old four wheeler. So that's on there. It's got LED light. Let's see. It is lifted. It's got the gun rack. That's where the key switch was, and that's now the light switch. And the winch does work. It needs a, a separate battery for all that. <clears throat> but the rear rack I used, this was off of my dad's Grizzly 600, the red one uh, that Clay has now. And we used parts of fit old fitness equipment from where I used to work. And we fabbed up a uh, receiver hitch uh, piece here that mounts up to the rack and supports it. And then we have it bolted in here and here. And it is solid. I mean, it ain't going nowhere. He, uh, he wanted somebody to be able to sit on the back. And you can easily do that and have a foot rest. So we just need to drill the hole for the pin for the trailer hitch pin and she's good to go so wanted to show y'all one of our little you know little projects we had going on here over at the shop real quick for a buddy so that's going to be getting out of here i kind of like it it's going to be getting out of here soon at some point this is going to be on the channel this is my 97 tahoe and it's it's a monster or it used to be I actually went through the twin ponds at Red Creek with this and drove home after doing all that. I think I had water in my rear diff. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's on 38s. Uh, I'll go over all of this whenever it's time to do it, but I got a motor sitting in the shop for it. So we're going to yank this motor out and put a new one in it, and hopefully she'll be back on the road again. So, oh, so last video was, you know, at, I had gone to that event and everybody was real upset with me because I wasn't really, I was filming. So I wasn't really trying to go break my stuff. And the XMR guys, I got to say, did really well. Here she is. Still good to go. I love my snorkels. This did break. So, oh wait, oh wait. Yeah, it's messed up. I need a new switch. The Ranger's good to go. So these would be the 32s that would go on the Outlander. So I would take these off and get something probably on those 15-inch rims I have for this. And put those on the Outlander. On some out the rim, Can-Am rim. But yeah, we got some things going. I also ride motorcycles, guys. Uh, I do enjoy the ride. And uh, this is my Suzuki uh, 650 naked right here. It's a 06 fuel injected. It's got a Jixxer 750 front end on it, or 1000, and uh, forks. You know. So it's like a cafe racer slash crotch rocket, I guess you'd call it. Sounds like a Harley, though. So... I'm going to start it for you. Maybe we can get some content on the motorcycle. Let's we'll see. Now she's running. Now she's running. Yeah, it sounds like a Harley to me. 